Hello everyone. So today we will talk about several things like error handling in client. Error means uh, let's just think uh, we have given an URL, but actually that URL doesn't have any type of error. So what will happen? This type of error handling. And uh, our next topic is thumbnail. So how do we handle the thumbnail? If you know about the thumbnail, that's great. Thumbnail is something like that. Um, let's just think we have an image or we are actually um, targeting an image that is a uh, full image. So that will take a lot of time to get loaded up. So in this case, we can actually use a thumbnail. Like uh, instead of the 4K, we can use a uh, um, what are called uh, 512 kilobyte uh, 512 is to 512 MS, so that will work like a thumbnail. And on the next, we will use some type of listener, what will show us our image loading is done or not. And uh, we will also use our animation while our main image will be changed. So a lot of things uh, gonna come out. So uh, first, I'm gonna hide these things because I want to start from the very beginning. That's why I'm hiding the basic things. Okay. So first, as we know, uh, for showing an image by using like before, you have to use Glide app with now the view. I'm using this. If you were using a fragment, you have to use the fragment view. And then I'll use dot load. Now I have to give the URL. Uh, okay, I'll use the simple thumbnail URL. Oops, my thumbnail URL is not something like that. So is a thumbnail string. This is my thumbnail URL. And next, I will use. Mm, okay. I'll use the erode sign right there. So R dot travel dot I see you. And after that, I'll use into probably. And in into you have to give the image view where you want to save your or uh, load your image. So now if I load that, I'm gonna show you what is happening in the back end, so don't worry about that. That is why I need the ISO. So it will take some time to be loaded up. So I'll pause that. Oh no, uh, I don't have to because it already loaded up. That's great. So feel. So I have open, and you can see uh, this is my image. So this is working pretty great. So now I'm gonna give a. Uh, a wrong URL, okay? So we just think um, we'll give another let's say error URL is equal to just copy this thing uh, or uh, okay, copy this thing. Okay, just have to adjust this portion. So now if I give the error URI, let's see what happened, okay?
so you can uh, okay <laughs> you haven't seen seen that so you can see this time it is showing the error because it can't actually loaded uh, it was not able to load an image so it is showing an error sign right here so this is great so we can show error sign like that and now um, okay so this time I will talk about something more like uh, what should I talk about like uh, should I talk about thumbnail okay I will talk about thumbnail first so in this case I will load the big MS so I hope this is IB string too and uh, yeah I'll use the hero and now I'm gonna use the thumbnail thumbnail is equal to slide up dot with this dot load so I'm gonna use the thumbnail URI right here so uh, now if I run that list was happen So you can see it is showing the thumbnail and I hope it is loading the big MS underneath you can see uh, it is downloading something and we'll see what's happened. Uh, it is taking some time because my net connection is not that fast. I hope my uh, okay. I don't think there is any problem. Ta -da. Let's just check it out. Uh, it works or not? So check that. Yeah, uh, it it works. But great, yeah, it's working. So I hope the reason behind that is I have to uninstall the app. So I'm uninstalling the app. And now I'll install that again. Let's see what's happened this time. So it has loaded the thumbnail and I hope it is loading the big image underneath. Okay, I hope uh, it is loading, but I hope it is loading yes uh, it is done so you can see it is showing the thumbnail first and until the main name is loaded up it was showing the thumbnail so that was all about the thumbnail error and loading so we have talked about the three basic thing now we'll talk about the loading sign so uh, let's just think our work is going on we don't have any thumbnail so what we'll do okay so in this case we can use the loading sign and in android the loading sign is known as the placeholder okay so i'm using the placeholder as we don't need the thumbnail anymore so i'm gonna say r dot travel dot mm, sign Okay, let's just uh, use any of them. So I'll use a plain MS, a so placeholder. And the same. I hope I have to 
reinstall that app. So I have uninstalled and it's gone. Let's see what's happened. So I have uninstalled my previous app and then it, it is installing the new app. And this is the placeholder image, so you can see it doesn't take any time. It just loaded up my loading image. That can be any animation like dot 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 dot, dot animation or loading sign, whatever you want. You can use any of them. And yeah, I hope it is loading. Yeah, you can see it is 158 kilobyte per second. So it is loading something behind that. Yes, so this image is loaded perfectly and it has taken the position of the placeholder. So that's great, what you said. Yes, and now I will add something more with that. For example, let's just apply some transformation with them uh, for example center group or something like that so i'm gonna say center group transform or center inset transform or free center transform there is several uh, you can use your new one also or as you want so you can create your new one uh, so i will use the default any of them so i'll use the center group transform this was happened this time okay It don't take a, a lot of time this time because uh, I'm using the same app, so it it actually has the caches that needed for this app. So you can see the image is cropping perfectly. It is cropping as the center group transform. So this is how you can use or uh, change your transform, and I will add something more with that okay so what do you think what should i add uh, okay let's just add a listener so what actually the listener does huh? okay uh, i hope the listener goes with request builder or uh, okay before listener i'm going to talk about something more important the thing is animation. So what you can do in animation is known as transmission in here. So I have to use sorry transition. And there is some different transition like with cross fed. So I'm using with cross fed. Okay. So you have seen that is working pretty much so great it was uh, like there was the animation behind that but with this type of uh, default animation has some problem okay for example if your image has some trans transparency or uh, well, for example like in a thumbnail image thumbnail string we have some transparency so I'm adding the transparency and you will see behind uh, our target image is rendering up behind the uh, over the placeholder oh shit mm, yes so that what we don't want so what we can do in this case we can use our own animation so how can we do that we have to use uh, i forgot the code sorry for that i have to copy it up so this is the thing so this is the method so you don't have to worry about that you can just follow my codes right there 
so okay so by weight you can call for your custom animation in this, this case I have created an animation I'll show you the code for that animation zoom in and uh, we have added um, our custom animation so you can see this is the scalar animation and it is zooming from 0 0.1 to 1 and after showing the active animation it is turning it off so till after 2 so this is the animation if you want you can pause the video and copy the code from here there we go so now let's run that up again and let's see what's happened So you can see oh my god you can't see so you haven't seen that uh, I'm sorry for that I was actually pretty selfish I have seen the whole thing in my mobile so you can see this is working so great it was like boom awesome so uh, the last thing I'm gonna talk about today is the listener okay so I'm gonna add a listener and is the request driver listener? What is the request driver request builder driver? Okay. Uh I forgot the code so oh shit. So like others you have to just use new request listener and that's it so this is an abstract class request listener and that is having two methods and you can see uh, these methods are pretty much helpful so one of them is using for on load fail when uh, the glide can actually can't actually uh, load, uh, load up your image it will call this onload failed so you can do anything you want in here for example i'm going to create a host like uh, uh loading failed loading oops loading failed and uh, when we have loaded up perfectly i'm going to say so you can do a lot of things like uh, in here, like uh, progress by done, or you have turned on any animation in placeholder, and you can turn off the animation right in here. So you can do a lot of things by using this listener, and that is pretty uh, so helpful. I found that out so helpful. So use that. I wanna say loading done, loading done, set done, no done just done so awesome what you say huh yes that was great so turn it out uh, let's see what's happened Do -doom. so we are the masses loading done so awesome we have done pretty much everything for glide and i hope you understand everything i have worked so hard for that for giving you a proof of view about glide because i found that glide is becoming popular every day so i was thinking to do something like that and i have done it so i hope that going to be helpful for you if it does Please knock me and let me know. Uh, that will give me the pump ups. Great. Uh, I'm checking up everything I have done. Yes, nothing missed out. So great. So we are done. And see you then. Goodbye. Oops.